The world's biggest battery storage project. Guys, I make a video about this regularly every couple of weeks. I say, hey, here's the biggest battery in the world. It keeps changing. It's very confusing because there are so many big batteries being planned that one week, the biggest one's in Australia, the next week, the biggest one's in America, the next one, the biggest one is in Chile. Yeah, in Chile. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Who would have thought, right, the biggest battery storage project in the world will actually now be in Chile. Apparently, the biggest battery in the world, or the largest battery storage project, will be called the Oasis de Atacama, or the Oasis of Atacama. I'm sure I didn't pronounce that correctly, I'm sorry. I don't speak a, basically a word of Spanish. Uh, yeah, I can work out what some words are, but not very many. How big is it? Well, 1.24 gigawatt hours have been financed. Eventually, this will be a 4.1 gigawatt hour battery. So all five phases will contribute to the battery being not just the biggest battery in the world, but it will be more than double the size of the second biggest battery, 4.1 gigawatt hours. When you've seen this video, I mean, if you're watching this video, say a month or two after I've made it, then it's probably false. It's probably no longer the biggest in the world, even though it's astronomically enormous. But countries now are jumping on this. And I think the price of battery storage will probably actually go up, even though it's been coming down. Last month, the price of lithium ion phosphate energy storage batteries went down by approximately 7% worldwide, which is crazy considering how much they've gone down in price over the previous year. However, I think we've seen a huge spike in demand and that demand will potentially um, mean there will be a pivot towards sodium ion batteries because I don't think the market can meet all the demand that we're seeing. It can right now, but that demand, this is just the tip of the iceberg. We're gonna see it skyrocket over the next 12 months. More and more countries are seeing the rollout of these mega batteries. They're seeing what's happening, how it's fixing grids, how it's fixing. I mean, for example, put it this way. If you're Germany and you're curtailing two terabytes of electricity every year, more than an entire, some entire country's manufacture, you're just getting rid of all that. And all of a sudden, the price of battery storage has collapsed. It's gone massively down. All of a sudden, you're Germany. You're like, well, what are we getting rid of all this energy for? We can just stop using all this coal and gas, right? That said, Germany has hit more than 60% renewable energy now. That's their current figure. So yeah, either way though, this makes so much sense because almost every country in the world is curtailing energy, just getting rid of it. Too much solar in the middle of the day. Solution, energy storage. Independent energy expert and assurance provider DNV said on Wednesday that they have supported developer Gren Energy Renewables, Gren Energy, in securing a financial close for this deal. So. Apparently, this deal will have a 220 megawatt solar farm and a 1.24 gigawatt hours of battery storage. That will be finished by the end of next year, by the end of 2025. But then over the next couple of years, they're gonna, well, quadruple the size of the battery to 4.1 gigawatt hours. Once finished, the project will consist of one gigawatt of solar generation, would be one of the biggest solar farms in the world, and 4.1 gigawatt hours of energy storage. The project will power 150,000 homes and reduce emissions by, of CO2 by over 146,000 tons, but that's just in its first stage. When it's completed, it should power around 600,000 homes in total. 75% of the project's energy has been contracted, say reneweconomy.com.au through various long-term power purchase agreements. Now, if you're wondering um, what's going on here, why Chile? Well, Chile is renowned for its solar potential and its dedication to decarbonization and it represents a promising market for solar and storage power, said Santiago Blanco, who is the Executive Vice President and Regional Director for Latin America Energy Systems. So he's saying, this project makes sense in Chile. Uh, there is so much solar power in Chile. It's logical, but also keep in mind, um, it's it, really this is coming when solar panel prices at the lowest point in history, the efficiency is at its highest point in history. That's really the perfect, the perfect situation here for building a solar farm. 
Then in conjunction with that, you've got the energy storage prices coming down at the fastest pace we've ever seen. Lithium prices, right? Lithium, the price of lithium carbonate used in these batteries is at an all-time low. If you look at the if you look at inflation, you look at the cost of lithium versus you know the rise of inflation, the price of lithium has actually never been lower. Never. How can that be possible? Well, one of the reasons is because massive mines have been opened all over the world and more and more lithium has been mined every day. So yesterday, less lithium will be mined than tomorrow. That sounds crazy, but it's actually true. And in conjunction, now that there's this pivot towards sodium ion batteries in the energy storage in industry and potentially iron flow batteries, it means lithium has some real competition. That has suppressed the prices. It's kind of like a perfect, a perfect storm here for renewable energy. But the absolute nightmare scenario for coal, for gas, for fossil fuels. Isn't it wonderful? I love this. Thanks for watching.